Hey, Leo here. As promised, in this awesome video, I'm going to show you how we generated seven new dental implant patients within just 31 days. Now, across the board, generally, uh, they are for dental implants. There's a few for small makeovers, veneers, and cosmetic dentistry, but most of them are for dental implant patients because that's what we're targeting. So, in this video, you're going to see some really great stuff. First of all, you can see over here, 209 New York City Dental. They're spending $2,600 a month. Uh, True Dental Discounts over here, which are massive, they're spending $26,000 a month. And one of the biggest players in the country, Aspen Dental, it's crazy, you can see $290,000 a month. And, you know, looking at all the databases, they've been doing, they've all been doing this successfully for over 10 years. Now, also, look, keep in mind a couple of things. You know, this is not for everybody, of course. This is for only for serious dedicated dental practices that wish to grow their businesses um, only. And uh, look, another thing too, I'm usually in Australia, but I'm currently in the Philippines on a beautiful beach island resort, living the dream. And just wanted to let you know of any background noise uh, so you know that in advance. And the good thing is, you know, about the internet, you know, I can run this business from anywhere. It doesn't really matter where I am. Okay, let's get right into it. So what you're gonna see in this video, we're going to uncover you know, why some dental competitors, you know, they're spending 10, 20, 50, 100, $290,000 a month and making a ton of money. And where others are spending ten, tens of thousands and losing the money because they didn't do it correctly. And of course, they stopped their advertisement altogether. <clears throat> I'm also going to show you how you can get dental implant patients or Invisalign patients the very same day and not have to worry about SEO taking forever. You know, look, I'm a business owner and the last thing I want to do is throw out a whole bunch of money hoping that it's going to pay off later you know I want my results now uh, also going to show you a really cool trick how to prevent good dental uh, leads running away to your competitors to your competitors website I mean and how this form of advertising which is Google Google advertising is a perfect add-on to your existing advertising um, or replacement to what you're doing and you don't have to pay crazy amounts of dollars per click like the rest of the market is because they're doing it incorrectly and I'm going to show you how many more dental patients you can get in New York State. Uh, we have a lot of big cities in New York State, of course. I'm not going to get into detail about every, but I'm just going to give you the gist of everything. Excited? Good. Like my mate Jonah Hill. Love this guy. I'm excited too. Okay, so there's a lot of tools that I use. This one here is called SpyFu. It gives me some great stuff here, you know. Estimated monthly AdWords budget, $26,100. And they've been doing this for 10 years and three months. So, you know, they're spending that much for 10 years. You know, we know they're making money. Uh, one of the other tools I use here is called Ispinage. Fantastic. You know, what are they doing? So, uh, they're about dental discounts. That's okay. We're, we're all not, but they are. So, they're just want to show you that the website is relevant. You know, uh, it's affordable local discounts at dentists. It's perfect. Click to call button here. So, when people are searching on the mobile, they don't have to write down the number and a quick form to fill out. It's good stuff. Uh, I told you how I would, we would prevent good uh, dental leads running away to your competitors. We call this a mouse trap. This is very clever. You know those websites where you have to fill out, you know, name, email, address, phone number, where you live, how much money you make, all that horrible stuff. I hate those. You hate those. Your customers hate those. Ask them one question at a time, so that way we make it exciting one question and then we get them so engaged now they cannot be bothered to go to another website and fill out the whole form so it goes like this you know one question one answer one question one answer and then you get that in your inbox and now you have a qualified customer that's looking to get their implants done or cosmetic dentistry or veneers or Invisalign whatever it is it's qualified they're not going to go anywhere else now um, now, I've done a lot of other research. I'll show you up here right now. Now, I'm just, I've just chosen uh, New Rochelle, okay, just as an example. So, if I want dental implants done, you know, I want to type this in, dental implants in uh, New Rochelle, New York. So many ways you can search it, you know, uh, and Google gives me some ideas here as well, you know, and we use all these uh, in our keywords as well. So, dental implants, look, is number one, dental implants. Makes sense. Dr. Richard Souza. Okay, nothing about implants. He's talking about dentists. He's obviously paying a lot more per click than he should be. 
Jennifer uh, Pichardo. Okay, nothing about dentists there. Um, hi Jennifer, you're probably spending too much on your advertising. And Prisma Dental. Um, you know, I'm looking for dental implants. Does that make sense? Okay, so let's go. I've already done my searches here. Uh, where are we? Let this load up for a second. Best dentist in New Rochelle. Okay, she's up there, number one. Doesn't say anything about dentists, so she's paying too much. Sorry, Jennifer. Uh, Rosalind, New York dentist. Uh, Dr. Richard Souza again, and dentist call tracking. Okay, so none of the ads are relevant, so they're paying way too much. Now, uh, let me give you another example. Let's just go back to dental implants. I just want to show you how Google AdWords works. Let's see if anybody's done their advertising correctly. No, nobody's really done anything that I can compare with. Nobody's going to type in an amazing dental team, even though that is a nice ad, but it's not relevant. That's why they're not up here. Okay. Uh, let me just show you 209 uh, New York City Dental. This is their website landing page. Beautiful, happy couple, dental guide to romance. Very cute. Something different. A YouTube video. Fantastic. Meet the doctors. This is beautiful. You know, talks about their services. Very, very attractive website. Uh, but we can make ours a lot better and a lot more relevant. I would, people searching for dental implants, I would take them, uh, if I was advertising for implants, I would take them to this page here. I wouldn't take them to the main page because people have made up their mind that they want dental implants. I'm going to take them to the website that talks about implants or if they typed in cosmetic dentistry, I'm going to take them over here. Hope all that makes sense. Okay, let's get into it. How does Google advertising work? There's so much to know here, but I'm going to try to keep it very quick and try to do it all in three minutes. Google's secret source for rewarding quality score. Here, let me give you an example. If you were searching for the best steaks in New Rochelle or the best, best steaks in Tribeca, you want you know, your Google search to come up with the best steaks in Tribeca or the best steaks in New Rochelle or the best steak, best steaks in Brighton or Syracuse, wherever you are. You don't want to, you know, Mary Poppins muffins, you know, or the best restaurant, uh, best breakfast. It's got to be relevant. So let's say advertiser one spending $2, but his quality score is a perfect 10 out of 10. That means he's got everything right. Google's going to charge him less than $2 now and he's going to be in first place. Well, you saw that uh, let me see, where are we? Dental implants. Look at that. New York. Best dental implants in New York. Bingo. Okay. Uh, there's more to it than that, of course, but it gives you gives you the idea. Okay, going over here. Now, he's spending $2. Let's say this guy's spending $8 and he can't get anywhere in Google. His quality score is low. Okay, he's going to pay the highest cost per click, and he's going to be in fourth or down the bottom. So let's just say this is in thousands. Let's say he's spending $2,000 a month and this guy's spending $8,000. That's why people go broke with advertising and they think it doesn't work and they lose money and they just think this is not for me. But advertiser one's got it correct. This is how we operate. Okay, next one. You don't want to just advertise as dentist because that's like advertising for a bicycle. It doesn't make sense. But See, this is a perfect keyword here, black 10-speed beach cruiser. That means, that's like, in your terms, best dental implants in New Rochelle or Brighton or Syracuse. Does that make sense? That means that customers made up their mind and they're searching now. They, they want to make a decision. Now, these are far less competitive and convert the highest. Does that make sense? Beautiful. Most important uh, factor is click-through rate. Google Chief Economist says that 60% of the Google quality score is determined by the click-through rate. So we've got click-through rate, ad relevance, and landing page quality. Common practice, as you saw with the other advertisement, you know, I was searching dental implants and people were talking about dentistry. I wasn't searching for that. So you can be pretty much guaranteed that around about, let's say 99% of the advertisers do it correctly. So when you do it correctly, you're paying less per click, you're more relevant, you're up the top, guess what? More clicks, more people come to your website, more customers, more money. We do one campaign, one ad group, one keyword. Okay, so it's just like that. We use a one uh, search term per ad group. Uh, this is a special offer we run. It's a small ticket item. 
284 clicks, we got 97 conversions. That's what we care about. That means 97 people picked up the phone to make a call or filled out that form. Look at this. New York. Let's go. Targeting. This is uh, Google AdWords. Uh, their platform it shows me all the data that I need to know. For New York, dentists, dental implants and cosmetic dentists. Guys, look at this. 60,000 people a month are searching for dent dentists, dental a month. There's a lot of money here on the table. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to work with a couple of good dentists that really want to make a ton of money in New York. I'm not going to work with 10 in Brighton or Syracuse or uh, New Rochelle. I'm going to work with one in each city. Unless it's a massive city like New York, New York, I could work with a few more. So it's going to be exclusive. Okay, we've got click-through rate and ad factor. So your ad copy has got to be perfect search term. You know what you search for to the relevance. Long tail uh, usage and ad copy. We use between 100, you know, 2,000. Generally, for dentists, we use around about 1,200 different keywords. Landing page that I spoke about before, it's got to be relevant. You know, you don't want somebody searching for dental implants and then talking about veneers. Uh, load uh, speed of your website got to be lightning fast and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, and how many more dental clients can you get? This is the big one. Speaking with my partners all over the US, we've done our research and we know from all the dental practices that we work with, we've based it on a million population and you would expect to get between five to 10 new patients a month. That's not for, gen you know, clean and, you know, dental cleans and, you know, all that kind of stuff. We're talking about implants, cosmetic dentists, we're talking about the stuff of the money is pretty good awesome call me give me a call pick up the phone I'm in the Philippines but I have a cell phone and I answer my calls um, or hit reply in the email and I'll get back to you um, like I said we work with dental practices so we know what works it's gonna work we set the whole thing up you don't need to worry about nothing and even better no lead money back guarantee um, but look, let's say for example, if I don't bring a return on your investment in two, three weeks, that's okay. I'll keep pushing it for six, seven weeks until it blows up and you're like, oh yes, this is good. So we don't do contracts 12 months or anything like that. I need to prove myself to you month in, month out. That's the only way I operate, you know, so uh, nobody's feeling horrible or betrayed, you know. I've got to perform for you every single month and that way you're happy, you make money, we make money, we're all happy. And worst case scenario, if it doesn't work, which it is going to work, is a beautiful bottle of wine with a glass to drink your pain away. I uh, hope you enjoyed my video. My name's Leo, and hopefully we talk very soon. Okay, bye for now.